Hey guys, welcome back to Small Talks, small conversations with huge impact. Now exclusively on Spotify, powered by Spotify for podcasters. If you want to learn more on how to start your podcast, go visit Spotify for podcasters. And welcome to our show. Welcome here on our show. If this is your first time listening to the podcast and welcome to the show. I hope that you enjoy this one. If you do, go ahead and check out the other amazing podcasts that we have here and if you are an avid listener of the podcast, then welcome back to the show. I'm so excited that you're still here, that you're still invested, that you're still making time for your growth and for your expansions and expansion. And I am just excited for this episode because today is actually day seven and we are continuing our streak of just posting every single day. We have been doing this for a week now. And if you haven't checked out the other amazing episodes, please go ahead and check out and binge listen or watch our episodes. And so welcome. My name is Alec. If this is the first time that we meet and just want to say that I'm truly grateful for you. And so, yeah, for this episode, I want to remind you of one thing that I also got from my um, supporters or my followers on Facebook because I posted a post on Facebook. I said, um, what's your favorite quote? And I'll turn it into a podcast episode. So huge shout out to all the people who sent their favorite quotes. Do not worry. I'll go through them as much as I could. I'm going to pick the best ones that resonates with me as well. And the one that I'm going to pick for the first one from all of the hundred plus people who shared their favorite quote, I'm going to start with this one because this is the first one that I resonated with. And this is from Jabs. Oh, sorry. Jace Cruz Nogueras. Okay. So Jace Cruz Nogueras said, you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Max Ehrman. And, you know, I love this quote right here. It's not a very simple, catchy phrase, but it does encapsulate how I am feeling with my current life right now. For a very long time, I was in a state of proving when I would I would just prove to either you know my parents or my family or um, you know my friends or even the people online I was in that state of proving to them that hey I matter right and one thing that I realized that it's not just me who experiences those kinds of things most people, also have that underlying limiting belief, right? That I don't matter. Maybe you've also experienced it in your life where you wanted to say something, where you wanted to do something, but then you would see other people doing it or, or you would you know, think about the ways why you shouldn't do it. But deep down, there's just that belief that you do not matter. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to remind you that that limiting belief is not, not true in any degree at all. Like If you think about it, the odds of you being alive came from the odds of your parents m- meeting each other and you know, being alive as well. And then it came from the odds of their grandparents of being alive and surviving all of the things that happened in their lifetime so that you could come to life. And I truly believe that there is no miracle. There is no coincidence in this world. Everything has a purpose. So the fact that you are here, you're alive, you're breathing, that serves a purpose. And... Maybe some of you are confused with your calling, and that's okay. 
But one thing that I want to remind you is that you are a child of the universe and you are worth more than you think. Oftentimes, we don't play our view of ourselves, our self-esteem, how we look at ourselves, our confidence in ourselves. Most of the time, we don't really see ourselves for who we actually are. Because maybe a lot of traumas, a lot of people, and people that you don't even like, that don't even is not even a part of your like inner circle, but their words, their actions kind of made you feel that you are not enough, you know, you're not, you don't matter. And so that's the lie that you kind of believed that now becomes true in a sense because you've told yourself that lie a couple of times more than you should have. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. But now that we identify that it's a lie, we can go back to our truth. And one way to actually do that is to acknowledge and accept that if you, if you really think about it, God made everything in seven days. And on the sixth day, he made you. And after he made you, he said, this is good. And in fact, it was so good that on the seventh day, he rested. And you see, you're not just someone in this life. You're not just, you're not a nobody. You're not someone who's not going to leave a mark in this world. Chances are, if you're listening to this podcast, then you're just like me, a person who dreams big, a person who has a big vision, who cares about his legacy. And if you are feeling that way, then I want to say that keep going because you're on the right track. You are not just someone in this life. You are the only version of you in this life. And maybe there are still doubts of what your purpose is. You don't need to rush. And if you also feel that you are like kind of stuck, one way that could help you get back to this realization is to go to connect with nature. I've been falling in love with lakes and waterfalls and rivers lately. And every time I spend my time in those areas, I always think of how small I am. I don't know the the term that I always hear is like, I'm just a speck of dust, a speck of dust. Meaning is if you look at the, the, the bigger thing that is happening. I also watched a movie last week. It's called Interstellar. If you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. Basically shows us that we're just a small particle of a bigger, bigger system that is happening right now, that is existing right now. Now, if you look at the sky, you'll see tons of stars. Probably, you know, these stars are already dead as we're seeing it right now. But we don't know that. But if you think about it, there are so many things beyond what we can comprehend. And at the same time, we have this consciousness of appreciating and experiencing each and every moment. And that by itself is a privilege that you got to understand that only the 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 favorite ones of this world are given this chance dogs don't have consciousness the way that we do the plants don't have it only us human beings so if you are listening to this and you are aware of what is happening in your life and you're seeing life through a bigger and much larger specs 
then I'm excited for you because you're seeing that you are a child of the universe and you have a right to be here. So that's it for this episode. I hope that you enjoy this one. If you do, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You know, I kind of leaned into a more spiritual kind of episode. I hope that you appreciate that. If you don't like it, you know, share your thoughts, your comments on Instagram. Don't forget to tag me at Alec Cuenca. And again, just really appreciate you guys for sticking and supporting and just sharing all the posts, uh, the, the, the podcast this week. You know, today is day seven. Super excited to see you guys for the following days. Thank you so much. My name is Alec Cuenca. This is Small Talk, Small Conversations with Huge Impact. Announcements down below. Go check it out. And if you want to be, um, you know, seeing me face to face, I have live and live events coming up. So make sure that you are updated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Always remember that you are loved, you are enough, and you are more worthy than you think. See you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>